A Tucson family is mourning the loss of a husband and father. 61-year-old Jose Mendoza was killed on Sunday. Police say a 15-year-old killed him. Court documents show Mendoza was riding his bike on Drexel Road near Country Club when he was hit by that 15-year-old who was driving an ATV. Detectives say the 15-year-old ran Mendoza over and then stabbed him. He tried to leave, but witnesses held him down. Mendoza was rushed to Banner UMC where he died from his injuries. The pain is still raw for Mendoza's family. His wife and daughter spoke to us to give us some insight into who their husband and father was. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live tonight with a story you'll see only on 4. Eric. Amanda, good evening. Jose Mendoza's family tells us that he was just an extraordinary person, an extraordinary husband, an extraordinary father, an extraordinary grandfather who was always there for his family. He was a legend. He left a lot of footprints here on earth, not only in my heart, but in my mom's life and everyone who surrounded him. As she begins to process her loss, Karen Mendoza is reminded of the memories. He had a golden heart. Karen says one of her dad's greatest joys was being a grandpa. His family says Jose looked forward to teaching his grandson how to play baseball. As a grandfather, he was the best one my kids could ever ask for. He would always come and visit during the week after work, call during his lunch times just to check up on his grandkids. He was really present in our life. He was married to Maria for 29 years. His wife describes Jose as noble and peaceful, and she tells us she holds no ill will towards the young man currently in custody, charged with first-degree murder. This young man who did this to my husband, I don't have any anger or resentment towards him. He too has possibly been a victim of everything. I don't know his situation. I will never hold anger or resentment towards him. In her grief, Maria has found incredible strength and grace. None of us are spared injustice in this life. I send my blessings to the family. I hope the man will find peace. Karen says she takes comfort in knowing her father left a kind impression everywhere he went. He would just light up a room of laughter, of memories. He had many stories to tell. And tonight, Karen says she and her mother trust in God to help them through this difficult time. We have shared a link to the family's GoFundMe page on our website. Just head over to KVOA.com. We've got you covered live tonight here in Midtown. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.